Bling. Action. You got your free legal work from my firm now. I'm not gonna be on your board of directors too. I got our free legal work from your firm by going to Norman. He said, of course, no problem. Then I asked him, don't you have to put it for a committee? He said, nah, I'll just tell him we're gonna do it. Well, you got it. All I'm asking for is to use your name, that's it. You don't have to do a thing. There's an honorary board for the stationery. Ned, come on. It's your cause, not mine. Hmm. But that's just an evasion. It is not. I don't ask you to help me out with a Larchmont school board, do I? But I would if you asked me. But I don't. Would you be more interested if you thought this was a straight disease? It has nothing to do with your being gay. <laughs> well, of course I asked. What else has it got to do with? I've got other things to do. But I'm telling you, you don't have to do a thing. The answer is no. It's impossible to get this epidemic taken seriously. I wrote a letter to the gay newspaper the other day. And some guy wrote in it. There goes Ned Weeks again, hoping we all die so he can say I told you so. He sounds like a crazy. Kept me up all night. Then you're crazy too. I ran into a friend I hadn't seen in years on the subway and I said, hello, how are you? And he started screaming, you're giving all our secrets away. You're painting a sick, you're destroying homosexuality. And he tried to slug me right there on the subway under Bloomingdale's. Another crazy. And we did raise $50,000 at a dance last week. That's more money than any gay organization has ever raised in the city before at once. That's wonderful, Ned. So, you must be beginning to do something right. And I made a speech appealing for volunteers and got over a hundred people to sign up, including a few women. And I got us on Donahue. I'm gonna be on Donahue with a doctor and a patient. Don't tell your mother. Why not? She's afraid someone's gonna shoot you. What about you? Aren't you afraid what your corporate clients are gonna say? Was that your faggot brother I saw on TV? Excuse me, this is a bad time. You seem preoccupied. I do. I'm sorry. Morning with the architect is enough to shake me up a bit. It's gonna cost more than I thought. More? Twice as much. Two million? I can handle it. You can? That's very nice. You know, Ben, one of these days I'll make you agree that over 20 million men and women are not all here on this earth because of something requiring the services of a psychiatrist. Oh, it's up to 20 million now, is it? Every time we have this discussion, you up the ante. We haven't had this discussion in years, Ben. And we grow just like everybody else. Look, I try to understand. I read stuff. I pick up magazines like this and I see pictures of you guys with leather and chains and whips and black masks with captions saying, this is a social worker. This is a computer analyst. This is a school teacher. And I say to myself, this isn't Ned. No, it isn't. It isn't most of us. You know the media likes to dramatize the most extreme. Do you think we all wear dresses too? Don't you? Me personally, no I do not. But then you turn around and tell me how you, how you go to bathhouses and fuck blindly and to me, that's not so much different than this. You guys don't seem to understand why there are rules and regulations, guidelines, restrictions. You guys have a dreadful image problem. I know that. That's exactly what has to be changed. That's why it's so important to have people like you supporting us. You're a respected person. You already have your dignity. We better figure out where we're going to have lunch and get out of here. I have an important meeting. Really? How important? I've just asked for your support. In every area I consider important, you have my support. And someplace deep down inside, you still think I'm sick. Isn't that right? Okay, define it for me. What do you mean by sick? Sick unhealthy, sick perverted, sick I'll get over it, sick I'll be locked up. I think you've adjusted this life quite well. <laughs> All things considered. In the only area I consider important, I don't have your support at all. The single-minded determination of all you people to forever see us as sick helps us keep us sick. I saw how unhappy you were. So were you. You wound up going to shrinks too. We both felt pretty much the same about mom and pop. I refused to admit for one more second that I was damaged by our childhood or you were not. But we all don't react the same way to the same thing. That's right. So I became a writer and you became a lawyer. I'll admit to the fact that I have a number of awful character traits. But I won't admit to the fact that whatever happened to us as kids automatically made me sick and gay where you say straight and healthy. Well, that's a difference of opinion. We have over theory. But your theory makes me into a man from Mars. My theory doesn't do that to you. Are you suggesting it was wrong of me to put you into therapy so young? I didn't think you'd stay in it forever. I didn't think I'd done anything wrong till you put me in it, Ben. You know you mean more to me than anyone else in this world. 
And I think I finally found someone I like. I love. Can't you understand that? No, I don't understand. You got to say it. Just say it. I'm the same as you. Just say it. No, you're not. I can't say it. No, every time I lose this fight, it hurts me more. I don't want to have lunch. I'll see you. Come on, Lemon. I still love you. Sarah loves you, our children, our cat, our dog. Do you think this is a joke? You have my love, and you have my legal advice, and my financial supervision. I can't give you the courage to stand up to me and say that you don't give a good healthy fuck what I think. Please stop trying to wring some admonition out of guilt out of me. I'm truly happy you've met someone, and I'm sorry your friends are dying. If you're so sorry, why don't you join our honorary group and say you're sorry out loud? My agreeing you were born, just like I was born, is not going to help save your dying friends. Funny. That's exactly what I think is going to help save my dying friends. Ned, you can be gay and you can be proud no matter what I think. Everybody is oppressed by somebody else in some form or another. Some of us learn how to fight back. With or without the help of others, despite what they think. Even those closest to us. And judging from this mess your friends are in, it's imperative that you learn how to fight back and stand up so that you can be stronger than ever. Can't you see I'm trying to do that? Can't your perverse ego proclaiming its superiority see I'm trying to be proud? You can only find a place to call yourself normal. You make it seem as if I'm the enemy. I'm beginning to think that you and your straight world are enemy. I'm furious with you and with myself and every goddamn doctor that forever kept me from living man. Two million dollars on a house? I can't even get 29 cents from the city. And you still think I'm sick. I'm sorry. I cannot speak to you until you see me as your equal, your healthy equal, your brother.